Hey everyone, it's Joe Jout and welcome to a Bakugan Battle Planet unboxing and review. Today I have Aralus Vice Rocks, an Ultra Bakugan. Now I do have the core version, which I will be comparing it to. Uh, yeah, this Ultra version looks pretty cool. I really like that they added that huge claw that is represented in um, the artwork. So this Bakugan has a challenge level of 1. We have the graphic here on the top right. We got the Baku cores down here on the bottom. Here on the back, all the contents of this starter. So the Bakugan Ultra, two Baku cores, one ability card, one character card, one instruction sheet, and one rule sheet. So I'm wondering if this has an Aurelis ability card. Um, kind of like the, I think the Nobilius one. I'm pretty sure it's Nobilius that has the Aurelis ability card with a Battle Mastery as the ability. Um, but we'll see. I'm not sure. I'm not quite sure yet. Uh, right here on the bottom we have some more Ultras from the new wave. Hyper Dragonoid, Fangzor Ultra, Hydranoid Ultra, and Lupithion. Alright, let's get this Bakugan open. Alright, and here is everything. We got the cards here, so the character card, Vice Rocks Ultra, you need a shield and a fist to play it. 404, it's pretty low for an Arliss. And this does not come with an Arliss ability card because this is still part of the Resurgence expansion. So it comes with an Aquas card, Unstoppable, costs 3 to play, plus 600B if that Bakugan's holding a fist, plus 2 Frost Strike. So those are the cards, the Baku cores. For the shield we have plus 200. For the fist is plus 2, so pretty low when it comes um, to even the Bakugan and the cores. And here we have Vice Rocks Ultra in ball form. And I gotta say, it looks really cool in ball form. I love these paint details on top of the silver here. Uh, not too much going on here on the back. Just kind of like all this bronzy gold color with these two black dots. Um, but here on the side, this is the giant claw that Vice Rocks has. And it looks great. I really love it. Um, kind of reminds me of Cindy's Ultra a little bit where it's not quite symmetrical. We got this one giant um, piece that's just coming all the way across. But yeah, I think all overall, aside from, you know, the, the bumps that the typical ultras have like these little screws and stuff here um, besides those I think overall when it comes to the details I really like how the way this looks in ball form all right so let's get this open see how it looks like transformed oh <laughs> uh, it didn't open up all the way oh there it goes <laughs> oh all right so it grabs it on the back of the head there, like pretty much the back. And here we have Vice Rocks Ultra. Again, I love the details in the claws, looks really cool. The feet, the gold painted against the silver, it looks really nice. Even the black against the silver looks really cool. Um, here's the head, got this black eye, kind of reminds me of um, Core Serpentis a little bit, even the top part of the head is uh, painted. And I think these here are supposed to be the shoulders, like these shoulders, but it kind of looks like the arms for, or like little wings. I don't think that was designed properly. I think it should have had like a double hinge so that it kind of, I don't know, kind of like made it look like it was more, you know, it, like it came inward for the shoulders. And then here we have the back side of the shoulders here. Really love the paint once again. It looks great. Overall, I, I'm not really a fan of this pose uh, because I can't help but think that these are the arms <laughs> and I can't, uh, it's hard for me to picture visually that these are the arms of Vice Rocks. I don't know, I think it's just, just the, the pose is kind of like, kind of strange to me. I think it's because I'm comparing it too much to the core version where I'm confusing these parts with this parts where these are the actual arms on the core vice rocks you can tell um, that is the um, the giant claw it's supposed to represent so I'm kind of confusing it with that and then we got the the four feet here for the core kind of on these two huge pieces here and we have these two um, two on each side for the feet or for the legs 
And I, I, I can't, I can't just, it's hard for me to picture that these are the claws and not these. It's just kind of, uh, I can't wrap my brain around it for some reason. It's like hurting me. <laughs> Again, I think I'm just comparing it too much to um, the core version. So that's why I was saying I really wish that these were kind of, I wouldn't say not even there, but maybe positioned a little bit back further or forward further, uh, further, further um, forward. Um, I don't know, it's just, just kind of a strange pose in my opinion. But overall, I do, again, like the paint apps on this. Really cool detail all the way around. The pose is just, again, the only thing that I can't get over. All right, so to close this guy, you just actually close the middle part first. The head comes down. So the head, the actual head is not articulate. It's like at this part, like kind of like at the, um, the midsection, and it just comes down like that. And it should lock in. And then the little claw comes in, kind of hides it like, oh, <laughs> he's scared. And then the giant claw comes over it. And uh, that doesn't lock quite yet, so you have to hold that down. And then these legs come folded like this, and then you bring this part down and that should lock. And then you just repeat on the other side. I believe this was a challenge level of one. All right, and there you have it, Vice Rocks Ultra, Aralus. So that is where I'm going to end this unboxing. Let me know what you think. And he doesn't want to come out. He's hiding. <laughs> let me. Um, yeah. So that seems like a. There's a bit of a problem there with the magnet. Uh, let me know if the magnet on yours isn't as strong. All right. So yeah. Again, I'm gonna end it there. Let me know what you think about this guy. Your opinions. If you have this, uh, let me know what. Um, you think of it like the magnet and the pose and all that if you agree with me or disagree with me just let me know in the comment section below thank you so much for watching leave a like if you enjoyed and i will see you next time with more bakugan battle planet see you soon